What's good, you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people? It's Captain Jesso once more. Again, more videos of me and my beautiful face. You're just, you can't stop watching them, apparently, or at least like the three of you that do. <laughs> we'll get there. Um, and let's talk. I know that last couple of videos, if you've watched them, hopefully you've watched them. If not, go do that now and then come back and come see me here. Um, we've talked a little bit about the current state of the Yu-Gi-Oh! market. Obviously, you see it's not just my face that's down in this nice big corner here. I've got things, oh, that way up there that we're going to talk about so obviously we've been talking about the market and things are starting to stabilize right um i'm using the word stabilize we're kind of on a slope but we're not the bottom it's not crashing you know i'm sure i'm sure john over at uh, house of champs probably has the you know oh prices are crashing buy this now probably kind of video so um no, we're, we're, we're slowly trending downwards, and you're going to see as we go through. I've got a few things pulled up here. Um, I keep an eye on this page a lot. I keep an eye on a lot of things. I, I watch John's videos. I watch uh, Paisano. I watch a lot of things to keep an eye on what's going on. And like I said, things are starting to stabilize. So we're seeing stuff like tin promos, for example. So we got the Jinzo tin promo, the Rainbow Dragon. Uh, yeah, there we go. Power Tool Dragon. Uh, like tin promos we've got going down. We've got things like Exodia going down in price. Um... You know, it's like, oh, oh my god. And here's what's happening, and here's why I always say don't overthink it, let's not panic it. So, uh, two things. So first of all, like I've kind of been going on and on and on and about is, uh, you know, don't, if you've bought a lot of these things or a lot of cards to, uh, you know, maybe sell or try to flip for a little bit or as an investment, um, obviously it's like, oh, prices are going down. And what's happening is the people that are panicking are shoving everything out onto the market and just trying to get rid of them. They're selling them at dead low prices. Let's pile them off. I'm not interested anymore. Let's just let's liquidate it. I want just money. So those prices are going to start carving down. But the thing is, if a year ago, six months ago even, if you were smart, you didn't buy the hype. So I'm hoping to God that you weren't out there buying, um, you know, let's say, for example, this Rainbow Dragon tin promo at, like, $50. I'm hoping to God it was you that was selling it at that much because people buy that hype. You should be selling the hype. Don't buy the hype. Sell the hype, right? So, you know, going back, you're going to see something happen here in the next little while, like I've mentioned before, where everything's starting to kind of calm down, slow down a little bit, kind of get back to normal. You're going to see prices start on a downward trend right it, it's gonna slope down i think i can actually show you here we go let's look at let's look at this here right so as as hype builds up and and sometimes you know konami will go oh power tool dragon support or something ridiculous like that you're gonna see prices go up you're you know we're in the 30s there we're even jumping up probably somewhere close to 40 dollars for this at near mint right so you get hype right people buy in people buy in and there's always a little bit of a dip people buy here and all of a sudden everybody's buying out and boom you're to the top right and then this is where everybody's going to start selling them because oh my god i only bought mine for ten dollars and now it's worth 40 i'm going to sell it and then joe blow is going to come in and sell it at 35 to try to undercut you and what happens is this starts happening right the hype dies out and we're back pretty much to a normal playing field and you're going to see the prices stick pretty much in the same area for the most part for the next little bit now What's going to happen is, is you're going to see there's a bit of a drop off here, uh, and I'm going to use this guy here as a kind of a, uh, maybe not that, I'm going to bring up a, yeah, that's one I have, the Drac Connection. So I just brought up a few things, by the way. So even like stuff like first, first edition Ultimate Rare cards uh, from older sets dropping in price. But yeah, you see that, you build up, you build up, you got hype, and then we're going to come back down. And what's going to happen with these cards, and I wish I could kind of show you that, um, is you're not going to lose a bunch over time. So if you're looking at buying a lot of these cards, especially these older cards, like these tin promos and things like that, don't buy yet, but consider cards like this because they're going to start in a trend. Now, in this black space past this here, what you're not going to see over time is this card is slowly going to tick up. Slowly. And I'm not going to say, you know, there. you don't want to buy when it rockets to the moon like that, right? Um, you want to sell or try to get rid of it as quick as possible at that, because everything that goes up must come down. As far as I'm concerned, when it comes to stocks, when it comes to investments, when it comes to anything, anything that goes up must come down, right? So, you know, this is where the time right now is don't buy yet, 
we're not we're not at a low here. We haven't dipped yet, right? With a lot of these cards, um, like this here. This is just stabilizing, right? So don't buy yet because more and more people are going to start shoveling their way to this market. They're going to start panic selling because oh no, the card I bought for twenty dollars is now worth five dollars. I have to get rid of it. I have to get rid of it before it loses any more. And it's just going to keep dipping and dipping and dipping until people start selling that out. And people that are truly going to hold on to this, to this collecting, to this investing are going to be the ones buying these cards at the cheap in order to get a bit of return on them. Um, so what we're going to end up seeing on a lot of these cards, for example, 2007 Tin Promos, 16 bucks for Rainbow Dragon, a pretty iconic card as far as I'm concerned. You know, we got some hype over it. It jumped up 50 bucks almost in price, jumped back down to, you know, but 20 bucks, and we're going to dip. And it's going to dip, and it's going to hit a low point. And when it hits that low point, that's when it's going to be super, super smart to buy. Because at the end of the day, um, I'm going to see if I can find a video. Uh, Solemn has a really good video on what he calls the K curve, where basically what's going to end up happening is, is you're going to have your hype, things are going to rock it. You're going to have things like this, where this is kind of the cut, you know, if the K has a shape like you, you've got this here, and then you've got that and you know your leg your up leg and your down leg well this here is going to end up s start slowly being an up leg right so uh, let me what can i do here let me open up good old ms paint we're going to open up paint here this is what we're going to do and we're going to so basically the way to look at a k curve and this is the, i thought this was one of the coolest things and i saw it is you're going to have cards that are going to get hyped and what's going to happen to those is the price is going to woo to the moon right so that's your height don't you just love my great drawing? The other thing you're gonna see is cards kind of come in and they're gonna, you're gonna see them stabilize and they're gonna do this over time. You're not gonna rock it to the moon, but they're gonna go up, right? So this, this here, these are the cards you wanna look at buying. This is where you wanna sell, this is where you wanna buy is the cards are gonna slowly peak in value. So things like this Rainbow Dragon tin promo that might probably drop to something like 11 or 12 bucks. You buy it at that, what's going to happen is, is that card is slowly going to, over time, because of its age, because of its popularity, um, because of, you know, there's going to be less of them on the market because, well, people like us are going to start buying them up slowly and slowly at a very low price. Those are slowly going to hit a price and they're just going to keep slowly moving up. It may take some time for them to get there. This isn't going to be something that you're going to buy and you're going to see it jump up like that, uh, but that's what's going to happen. Things that are going to go down in price that are not going to hold value. Um, so one thing I I should have potted up or should have you know should have seen is things like um, unlimited vintage cards, unlimited vintages. So I don't think I've got anything I can really show you here, but uh, let's see if I have something I can pull. Problem is, is I buy things that I'm too smart to buy and I don't buy dumb stuff and I end up not getting my worth out of it because I'm not dumb enough to buy dumb stuff some days. Yeah, I don't have anything I can show you at the get-go, but basically what's going to end up happening is trends like, um, let's say, LOB Blue Eyes. Legend of Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes White Dragon. I mean, that thing right now, if we chalk the price of it, we're probably looking in the $100 range. We're going to go look it up right now, for example. Actually, let's uh, let's do this here. LB one, and we're gonna go TCG player. Let's bring that. Let's bring this right up. I, I'm gonna actually show you this. I think this is. I think this is something really cool, and this is something everybody should be looking at. So, unlimited blue eyes white dragon market price right now 157 dollars US, right? So, what's actually trending right now with it is the price, right? So we've got this K here. Basically, did this. So, start a pandemic happened. Things went crazy, and it just woo went up in price for the Unlimited. I'm not talking first edition. First editions went up even higher, but the Unlimited did this. And what's going to end up happening now to it is it's going to start settling. By the way, do you see that letter K now? Do you see what we're getting with this? So this stuff is first eds. We'll call it first eds. And smart. Smart. Stable. Buys. I hope you love my artwork here, right? This here is basically a path of LOB blue eyes. What's going to end up happening? It's going to hit a peak. It's going to come up, but it's going to come down. And the reason for it coming down, first of all, is hype has just died. So obviously hype is hype is there, right? So hype has just died on it. Okay. 
The other way to kind of consider it is there's still more being put out on the market. So we've got less hype, less demand for Yu-Gi-Oh! in general, the market's starting to stabilize. But the other thing is, is I can still go to Walmart, go buy a pack off the shelf, and still come out and pull one out and rip one open. And what am I going to do? I'm either going to save it in my binder forever, or I'm going to go, hey, wait a second, that's like a hundred and some dollars, and sell it. And so is everybody else that's opening up in packs. There's more and more and more of them, you know, those unlimited blue eyes, white dragons coming out. There's more of them on the market. So what's going to happen is, is those prices are going to stabilize. Now, you're not going to get them for zero, right? You're not going to see them at zero dollars, but it wouldn't be crazy to see them drop to something like 50, 60 bucks for one. Why not, right? So basically what we need to look at now, what you need to look at buying are cards that are hitting that sharp drop off whether it's for your collection whether you just want to hold them in a binder whether you want to hold them to to invest later on sell them later on for investing um, that's what you want to start looking at as cards that are hitting that steep drop off so things to look out for as a generality is things like old first edition ultimate rares um, unlimited not you know if you get a good deal on them because like i don't think like galactic overload has been like reprinted but like first editions are always something tangible i always talk about that you need to have but like old you know old cards like this old ultimate rares we've got things like this exodia the forbidden one for dark beginning one right all the way down to 19 dollars, and that's probably going to hit, hit a bit of curve and it's going to probably do that i would guess come back here in like a year or two i i bet you i'm going to be right so a card like that 19 dollars Drop a little bit, wait for it to hit like 13, 14, 15. Buy it up, scoop it up. A card like this will not just hit a giant cliff and be absolutely worthless. There will never be a chance where an old copy of Exodia the Forbidden One is gonna be worthless. I actually came out ahead. One of my biggest wins in investing, or not really investing, it was just my own personal gain, was I have a full set of LOB Exodia. It is unlimited, so the value is gonna start canning a little bit now as i mentioned on that k curve right things are going to settle and they're coming more in the market but at the price that they stabilized that they're going to stabilize at they're still worth more than what i paid for them i'm still going to come out ahead and there's you know they're just going to kind of sit and, and and until the next wave of hype comes and they'll start kind of going up but like right so a card like this dark beginning one didn't have a first edition by the way so don't worry about that right that's going to drop and what's going to be happening is, is that is slowly going to make its way up because they're not going to reprint dark beginning one you're not going to have any more of those right so it's going to start jumping in value uh what else did i pull up here so old ultimate rares old promos like this are genius to buy once they drop but don't buy it yet uh just wait a little bit um i brought up a few more but like things like that so um yeah uh anyways i'll cut it short i know i'm kind of at the, the limit that i like to keep my videos at but yeah basically that's this is what you want to keep your eye at so right like i said keep your eye on that k curve so you're going to have cards that are going to go hype, right? Um, you know, Konami's going to say, all right, we've got new, uh, you know, uh, new Gate Guardian support, for example. Never going to happen. But if it did, for example, Gate Guardian's price is going to, woo, that's your hype, right? And that's going to go, woo, to the moon. Um, eventually, that does, by the way, come back down. But it will to the moon. You're going to have your hype cards that were hype that are going to start, you know, doing that you're gonna have what you want is this line here you want this line right you want them to come low you're gonna buy at that low and you're gonna get that high so like i said older cards especially first editions things like promos and you don't have to be you don't have to be rich to this you don't have to be ruxin 34 going out and buying first edition lob oh ghost rares this and that this could drop to 30 dollars a collector's tin a 2003 secret rare promo for like 30 bucks maybe if it drops to that that is nothing nothing to consider investing and that will do nothing but go up over time right so you're gonna see that that's gonna tank just a little bit wait for that to tank when that does you buy it anyways i have things to do today i've got places to be places to go uh, i can't stay too much longer so i hope you guys have a good day month weekend evening you know sunday saturday whatever the hell it is in your life enjoy it I'll see you on the flip side. Captain Jessel out.